the minimum distance from the point H, uh, which has a coordinate of 4 comma K to the line, uh, Y is equal to X minus 2 is 2 units. Uh, find the value of K. Now this question has been taken from 2011 exam paper of level 2, which is year 12 in New Zealand uh, on the topic of coordinate geometry. So I have worked the example out, so I can go very slowly. Now this is the diagram or this is what is given. So this is uh, the line y is equal to x minus 2 uh, where b is the x uh, where b is the y intercept. So from this equation you can see very clearly that the y intercept is negative 2 and the gradient is 1. So I've drawn this line so I hope you understand this line. Gradient is negative 2 which is point b and H has an X coordinate of 4 and a Y coordinate of K. And we want to find that value of K. Okay, it's a value or value. Now, the, the, it says the shortest distance from this point to this line is 2. So, I've taken an arbitrary point A on this line Y is equal to X minus 2. And the coordinate of A is R X comma Y. And this distance A H is 2. And when you say the minimum distance, it's, it means this is perpendicular to this. That's what I have shown. So let's start. So this is what is given, or this is, we have taken A as an arbitrary point. A, uh, x comma y is on line. Uh, y is equal to x minus 2. Okay. And h is given to be y comma 4 comma k. So line AB, this is a notation of line. So line AB is perpendicular to line AH. So you can draw a line if you want. So as they're perpendicular, so these are the two facts. Uh, this is something that you should know. The shortest distance or the minimum distance means these and this and this are perpendicular. Okay, so this is also given the equation of line AB is Y minus 2. So if two lines are perpendicular, uh, what is the relation between the gradients? Again, you should know the relationship. The product of the gradient is negative 1. So this is how I have started. So equation of line AB is x minus 2, which implies MAB means the gradient of line AB is 1. The gradient is 1 here. Yeah. Okay. So this implies, or therefore you can say, M of AH should be negative 1. The gradient of a h should be negative one because this is a relationship if two lines are perpendicular the product of the gradient is negative one if two lines are parallel they are equal okay so based on that i can write the equation of line a h as y is equal to minus x plus c or minus one x plus c now we need to find the c which is the y intercept this is your y intercept okay so what do we know about line a h we can take one point on line a h which is this point which is 4 comma k so in place of x i can put 4 and in place of y i can put k and that's what i have done but point 4 k lies on 4 k lies on a h so in place of uh in place of y I can put k and in place of x I can put 4 so this equation changes to this that is k is equal to minus 4 plus c and if you make c the subject c is k plus 4 so this equation or the equation of line a h is minus x plus k plus 4 so that's, this is the equation of line uh, a h Okay, now this is the equation of line AH and this is the equation of line AB. So we can equate uh, this and this because this is in this is y is equal to minus x plus k plus 4 and this is y is equal to x minus 2. So you can say this is equal to this because this is equal to this. Okay, that's what I've done. Okay. So equating this and this, equating this and this, I can say x minus 2 is minus x 
plus k plus 4. Now I move this to this side and this to this side. Okay. So what happens? 2x is equal to k plus 6. And if you're dividing all by 2, so dividing this by 2, this by 2, and this by 2, gives you this, that x is k over 2 plus 3. Okay, so what's the next step? Substituting x is equal to k over 2 plus 3 in the equation of line y is equal to x minus 2. So in place of x, I'm going to put k over 2 plus 3. So that becomes k is equal to y is equal to k over 2 plus 3 minus 2. And this gives you this y is equal to k over 2 plus 1. So what basically I've done is I've sub, I have expressed x and y in terms of k. So now I have to find an equation of x and y. So what can we do? So here a, a is equal to or the coordinate of a is x y and the coordinate of h is k 4k. So let me go back to the diagram. So if you want to find the distance that we know that the distance is 2. So we can use Pythagoras theorem or uh, distance formula. So distance formula this is not distance formula is nothing but Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so if you draw if you draw a right angle triangle, I can draw that better. Uh, so let me draw so this is Pythagoras theorem, okay? So this is a right angle triangle, okay? So AH is this squared plus this squared, okay? Or you can say, if suppose this is say, let me put this as C. If I say this is C, C is, so can I say AC squared plus CH squared is equal to 4 or 2 squared. And AC is the horizontal distance, sorry, the vertical distance, and CH is the vertical distance. So AC is uh, AC is Y minus K, and CH is 4 minus X. Okay, so which are, so this AC uh, can be written as this is the vertical distance. So can I say this is uh, vertical distance so this would be 4 minus 4 minus y squared and ch is the horizontal distance so you have to look the x uh, you have to look at the x in x coordinates so that is 4 minus x squared is equal to 4 and that's what i've done okay so this is where uh, the next step is explained so h is given so a squared is 4 squared so using Pythagoras, and that's what I've explained, a squared is 4 minus x squared plus k minus. Now we've got a little bit of algebra, so I'll go over it very fast. So in place of x, I can put, in place of x, I can put, uh, what is the value of x? x is k over 2 plus 3, and y is k over 2 plus 1. So that's what I've done. Uh, substituting x is k over 2 plus 3, that's 1, and 2, which is k over 2 plus 1 in equation 3. Okay, so now, so let me scroll down a little. So this is nothing but, in place of x, I put k over 2 plus, k over 2 plus 3, because it's a, it's a minus x, it'll become minus k over 2 minus 3, and this is minus y, so it'll be minus k over 2 minus 1. Okay, so simplifying this further, you have 4 minus 3 is 1, minus k over 2. Okay, so I think you can see these steps quite clearly. 2, 1 is nothing but 2 over 2, minus k over 2, and this is 1 is nothing but. So making the denominator the same, so this is nothing but k, 2 minus k over 2, the whole squared. Uh, and this I hope you understand. So I'm going it quite fast. So squaring this and this, you get this step. And uh, then you're multiplying all by 4. So if you multiply this by 4, you multiply this by 4 to get rid of this 4. So you get this, k mi 2 minus k squared plus k minus 2, the whole squared is 16. And expanding this further, you get this. I hope you understand this is the expansion of this. And this is the expansion of this. 
So I've done the steps so that I can go over the steps quite fast. So this is k squared plus k squared is 2k squared. So this simplifies to this. And then if you're taking 16 from both sides, uh, you get this. Okay. And now dividing by 2. If you divide this by 2. Okay. And now you can use your graphic calculator. New Zealand students can use graphic calculator. But in some countries they don't use calculators. Or you can't use, they can use a simple calculator. So the next step is for those students who cannot use a graphic calculator. And this, that that is called this the next step is called completing square factorizing by completing of square or you can also use the quadratic formula okay so this is x k squared minus 4k is equal to 4 so i'm adding 4 to both sides okay now to make it a perfect square i have to have a 4 here k squared minus 4k plus 4 so if you add 4 to this side i have to add 4 to this side and that's what i've done so this becomes a perfect square of k minus 2, the whole square is equal to 8. So k minus 2 is equal to plus or minus square root of 8. So k is, if you add 2 to this side, you have to add 2 to this side. Okay. And that's what you got. k is uh, plus or minus, uh, sorry, 2 plus or minus root 2. So you got two values. k is... 2 plus root 8, which is this huge number, and k is 2 minus root 8. I will show you how these two lines are perpendicular. Okay, so let me use a calculator to show you. So here, yeah, you got 2 plus root 8 is 4.82. I'm going to save this as a letter, which is alpha a, and 2 minus root 8 I'm going to save as a different letter, which is this number, which is, uh, save it as B. Okay. Now I'll show you that these two lines are, when you use, so this equation, the equation of this line, that is what we want, the equation of AH. Mm. So this is what we want, okay, equation of AH is, minus x plus k. We know k is a or b. So let us use that now. Sorry. So here, uh, go to your graph menu and type in x minus 2, which is your first equation. And the second equation is minus x plus k. Your k is a. So let us start with a. Alpha a plus 4. Okay. Okay, I'll drag this. So to see that, uh, I think you can see now. So these two lines are, so here your A value is 4.4. Okay, so, uh, so these two lines are perpendicular. And if you change this to B, uh, say alpha B, and I'm going to delete this and see what happens. These two lines are, for this point here, your k is minus 0 0.8 to something, whatever. So these two possible, uh, for these two values of k, you can see these two lines are perpendicular. Uh, hopefully this video has been helpful. You can find, you can do further, try to find the point of intersection between. You can also find x and y. Uh, suppose just to explain, suppose if you want to find x and x, uh, if the question is find the uh, x and y, you simply go. So these are the two points of intersection. Okay. Or this, this is one point of intersection in this case. And if you put, say, A, you can uh, say alpha A, delete, and then, and then again the point of intersection will be different. This, this is the point of intersection.